Yeah, this is a pretty remarkable and certainly unexpected update uh, from the North Koreans on a story that really has been uh, highly curious and has really captured uh, the curiosity and imagination of people across the world. Uh, Travis King was an American soldier. He'd actually been serving in South Korea. He got into trouble in South Korea. He'd served a brief prison sentence uh, accused of assault. And then on the back of that prison sentence, he was essentially being sent back to America where he was going to face further disciplinary action uh, from the army, potentially even being expelled from the army. But instead of getting on that plane back to America, uh, he left the airport, uh, unbeknownst to the, the minders that had essentially taken him there. He then joined a tourist tour up to essentially that border with North and South Korea to an area called uh, the Joint Security Area. You might remember it. It's quite famous. It's where Donald Trump famously stepped over the border and you can see soldiers facing off against each other. And he then, according to witnesses and according to American authorities, made a concerted dash across that border. And almost nothing has been heard of him since then. The North Korean Korean authorities uh, were silent on it for a while. They eventually then released comments saying he had made that dash because he was facing discrimination and maltreatment uh, within the US Army and that he was essentially seeking refuge in North Korea. And the statement they've released today echoes some of those sentiments. It says that uh, as part of the interim investigation into what happened, they said uh, that Travis King has confessed to entering North Korea illegally, but that he did so because he was seeking refuge, having faced uh, racism and maltreatment in the US Army. Uh, it's impossible, of course, at the moment to verify uh, whether he did indeed say that. But what is remarkable about this is uh, this commitment seemingly to expelling him. It's not clear when, where or how that might happen. Um, but certainly that will come as a relief to American authorities and certainly Private King's family. Because uh, if you look back into history, cases where American citizens have been detained in North Korea for various reasons, they've often been held for a very, very long time, uh, years perhaps. The most famous case was of a student called Otten Warmbier uh, who was uh, arrested as an accused of stealing a poster as part of a tourist tour he was on in North Korea. He was held for a long time, eventually released in a comatose state and he eventually died. Uh, so those sort of stories will have been playing high on the awareness of the King family uh, and any news that he may well come home in some form, uh, who knows when and how, uh, will be of a deep relief to them.